Today I show you an unboxing of the crucial NVMe SSD drive T500 Pro. I bought this for my computer to be able to do some fast file moving and copying files. I hope this will last longer than my Samsung NVMe drive. The, the Samsung were a little bit more expensive and the Crucial was cheaper, but I, I, the Seagate works for me in my computer. Samsung, I had some strange issues with it, so I'm kind of avoiding Samsung now. Those are a bit more expensive. And this is PCIe Gen 4 NVMe M.2 SSD drive. The Pro series, I don't know exactly. I guess it's about the speed and this is without the heatsink. Because by the time I decided to buy this, I had the version with heatsink in the cart on Amazon, but it was sold out. The heatsink version, it was uh, the difference was very less than 10 euro for to have the heatsink. So that's a really great deal. I got this Arctic M2 Pro M.2 SSD, and I hope the size is actually correct. So maybe this is the right size. Okay, I got this for very very cheap, like five or six euro so because i i wanted to get the crucial i was going between i was trying to decide between the kingston nv3 which was not great performance and the king the crucial the crucial p3 pro which was also or p3 plus or something like that which was also not great performance this was more expensive than both of those but I decided I'll better get something that's uh, a more performance. The type of NVMe, the the type of SSD on this one is much better than the other ones. I don't really know much difference. I mean, I don't think I would use this for such a long time that it matters. And I wouldn't do so many read writes to it. But this is one terabyte Gen 4. And Gen 4 is cheaper now because Gen 5 is already out and my motherboard doesn't support Gen 5, so that's fine for me. 7300 megabytes per second. And that's a read up to. They always like to put the read there. Performance for gaming and content creation. Oh, that's for me. So I like how they start to market these things for content creation also, not just gaming. Yeah, I like Crucial. I have some memory for a laptop. I upgraded before and everything was fine with the memory. The Crucial was really good. And I'm hoping this is also going to be fine. Crucial by Micron. So it's not uh, it's not some small brand. Crucial is a really, really big brand. T500 Pro, Pro Series, PCIe Gen 4 and VME. 2280 M.2 SSD. So I think it's the same. Yeah, the cooling the cooling fins it's the same size so that's great what says here origin malaysia barcodes identification for ssd lots of things here and scan for setup i like it there must be some i actually i don't like that each ssd each company has its own app for the smart for the ssd monitoring Seagate has one, Samsung Magician, Seagate C2, Samsung Magician, and now I don't know how these ones call them. So you have to install like three, four apps for... I guess it gives you a reason not to buy multiple brands and keep the same. But I was looking for a Seagate actually, I wanted to buy a Seagate SSD, but they were not available. I don't know why, and if they were available, they were pretty expensive. Blazing Gen 4 performance, meaning slower than the current generation and um, accelerate gaming and content creation with microsoft direct storage i don't know what that's supposed to do and backward compatible with gen 3 doesn't really matter for me and this is the same in multiple languages here and there is through the box you can see inside i think that's the serial number of the drive it's a qr code and the one terabyte information there Yeah, it's uh, here. It's information about that how one terabyte is not really one terabyte, and how you will see less when you connect it to the computer. But I guess most of us we are already used to this. You see one terabyte, you don't really think it's gonna be exactly one terabyte. So that's the box outside. Let's see. 
I will see if it's uh, sealed. There's one seal here. And I don't see any other way to open. Ah, there is another seal on this side. So this is a label here. Okay. I'll get my Victorinox Tinker miniature unboxing knife. Right there. Yeah, don't forget to close it. Okay. They're really so tiny, these NVMe drives. They're so tiny, so... I made a video before about removing the label from a NVMe drive and I got some comments that saying that it's not good and uh, that I wanted to clarify. <laughs> I wanted to make it clear that that NVMe drive was out of warranty so it didn't matter, I didn't have to worry about warranty on the drive and that's why I removed that label. But this one is without the heatsink and I have the heatsink aftermarket, the Arctic M2 Pro. I have the aftermarket heatsink but I don't think I will remove the sticker and someone was saying that actually some of these stickers are made of metal like copper or aluminium but you would see if you watch that video from the, about the Samsung 970 Pro or Plus I think it was it, the paper, the label was just plain paper so maybe some of them do have a, maybe even that one maybe it had some kind of special material in the label that was thermal conductive but for this one I will not remove the label because I want to make sure that there is no chance to deny warranty if something is wrong with the drive because these NVMe drives usually they have a tendency to fail I don't know they especially I think the ones without the heatsink they tend to get hot and they they slow down normally they should just slow down when they get hot but something must be also wrong the drivers for the samsung drive i got an external case and it works in that one but in the computer it always gets freezes the whole computer and goes to 100 percent use yeah that's a long story and this one i hope is gonna work really well not like not like the samsung let's see here more papers so there's nothing else there. If you have information about how to set it up, there are many ways to set up the SSD. You can even, if you have it in a laptop, you can clone the existing SSD so that you don't have to change anything. You just copy your data to the new one. And uh, Seagate and Samsung, they have tools for this, but I'm not sure if Crucial will have this tool. So you have you can go to their support. This is in Japanese. So let's find the hmm, crucial SSD, the memory experts. Okay, that's Japanese, Korean, Taiwan, English. So is there anything else here? Only maybe something useful here about the contact. Ah, for returns, the warranty, a limited warranty, this is always fun to read it, and you want, you feel like you don't buy anything when you read these limited warranties, really. General terms of warranty, and let's check. This is the whole, everything, the same information, in multiple languages, and here it's English. And you go use step-by-step -step install guide and download free cloning and optimization software. Okay, so it has the it has the cloning software for from the old SSD to the new one. Data transfer software, installation guide, and optimization firmware. So you can you can get the utility that will monitor the drive and also do firmware updates. You can get support, community service, returns, warranty okay i will not need to use the cloning software because actually i will not change the system drive the system drive in my computer is also an nvme ssd it's the seagate 
uh, Fire Cuda, I think it's a special edition and it's with the heatsink and it's working perfectly. Hopefully I'm not gonna jinx it right now, but it's working fine that one. So PCIe Gen 4 X4 times 4 M2 SSD. It consumes 2.5 amps at 3.3 volts, so it's usual what you would expect from a NVMe drive, nothing unusual. Warranty void if removed. This is the back label. So that's the back label here. So I guess I could remove the front one, but I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. The back label is, it's actually all the information you need there. And I like how they did this because on Samsung all the information was here on the front and you would lose the information. You wouldn't know which, which drive it is at all once you remove the label. But now on this one, it's uh, I touched the computer case, but I will avoid, I will try to avoid to touch any metal parts of the drive here because of static, static electricity. So open it up it's so tiny okay so I hold it like this from the edges no need to touch any of the metal parts I'm really curious is this paper Yeah, I don't know, maybe maybe it's not paper, maybe it's some kind of plastic that is conductive or something like that, I don't know. So here it's, it's like a triangle, like a diamond shape. This is the memory controller, I think. And these are the memory chips here. On this label, it doesn't say warranty void if removed, but I'm not gonna remove it, I'll keep it like that. And I might try to do a test where I keep, I install this in the case as it is, do a test file transfer, see what temperature there is reaching, and then install it in the cooler and see how it behaves with the cooler. If this is actually doing anything, it should be. Even with the label on top, even if I don't remove the label and even the back label, here is just, uh, there's nothing there. The heat will come out from, mostly from the memory, from the controller actually. It will, the heat will be generated from the memory controller and it's gonna go a bit dissipated towards the memory chips and they do need a bit of uh, a bit of warmth a bit of heat to operate properly so that's not gonna be a problem okay I'll do some tests I will install it okay it says that here you have the option where you can grab it like this with the fingers. So it can sit there pretty pretty good. I'll do a few tests and I will probably make them in the separate video. So it's not this one is not too long because it's already I think this one is already too long. And I'll check this cooler also. Thanks for watching. That's it for this video.